I think there's really strong synergy between the, the, the strategic plan of the library has, but also the, the digital strategy that the school is trying to develop and implement in that we want to encourage both staff and pupils to work anytime, anywhere and be able to access um, the information uh, on the move, on the go, not just here, but beyond the bounds of, of Bradfield. Uh, so Sam Rees, Head of Politics here at Bradfield College. Uh, so when we moved over to the new A-level specification, uh, we asked Emily to provide us particularly with some uh, resources around the political ideologies element, where we were less well uh, stocked in terms of resources. Uh, so we asked Emily to focus around the four ideologies that we're teaching and to uh, try and provide us with some links based around the specification. We now have uh, basically a page of additional resources for each one of the four ideologies we teach. Uh, and what uh, Emily was able to do was to structure it in, in the way that really makes sense to the pupils and that we have uh, key thinkers that they need to know about with some extra links and resources there to further information on the key thinkers. And then we have the specific um, ideas and debates within the ideology as well, the sort of the core ideas, structured in a way which really makes sense to the pupils in terms of how the course is set up. When we start the political idea stuff in January, we will probably make greater use of it in our, in our lessons uh, and on providing um, particularly the, the, the more able students potentially with those opportunities to go a little bit further and extend the, the challenge of services and support provided by the library are absolutely fundamental in allowing us to engage with the content at a much greater depth. My name is Emily Earnshaw, I'm a teacher of English I'm here at Bradfield College. We tell the library, we give them a, a list of the text that we're going to be teaching during that year and you know where we're teaching it, so for A level or for IB, and a little sort of rough order. And then what they've been great at uh, providing is critical reading, so books by critics discussing uh, the literary texts and also um, articles from periodicals like the English and Media Centre magazine or e-magazine, anything to do with the literary text. Um, and for some of those texts, there is a, you know, a, a huge 20 plus list of resources with links to the relevant sort of sectional relevant pages uh, for the pupils to click Sometimes on. Sometimes I might just tell them to look at the link and uh, go through the resources for themselves. But sometimes I might look at a specific resource in a lesson and say, oh, today we're going to look at this resource, go through the Firefly page, and then also have printouts of it and kind of pick uh, certain bits apart. Thinking about it from the pupil's perspective, the way they access the support service uh, provided by the library is, is absolutely fundamental to the success of our teaching and learning environment here at the school. So I'm uh, Chris Best. I'm uh, the former head of history here. And this year I teach all of our Wars of the Roses A-level for history. One of the things with history is obviously you need uh, as many resources as possible. And one of the things that I asked the library for specifically was to put together lots of primary sources um, for our Wars of the Roses course, especially for if the pupils opt to do um, coursework in it, they need lots of primary sources. And that can be quite time consuming to find. And I, I asked the library to put that together um, and uh, that's what they've done, put loads of these contemporary primary sources together for us. Probably the most helpful thing is to have all of these materials in the same place. Um, well, first of all, actually, to uncover a lot of these materials because they take quite a long time to find, and um, it's something that, that is difficult to get all together. And what the library have done is not only put them all in the same place, but also to categorise them and put them into different areas. And so this makes teaching really, really helpful, or using them really helpful, because I can then put um, pupils onto that page and say, right, you're writing an essay on Henry VI, or you're writing a, an essay on Margaret Monju. These are some primary sources that you can use. Um, equally, it's also really good for practice and revision for them because they have uh, contemporary sources that they'll use for the exam uh, and they can use those sources for uh, practice and the chances are pretty much any source that comes up in the exam is likely to actually be on that Firefly page. We will use the, 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 the amazing resources provided by the library potentially from anywhere in the world um, and that's going to allow you know that's going to only have a, a really significant and positive impact on the quality of learning um, and indeed teaching.